Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. There's another review, this time from Matthew. Uh, for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or commentaries or reviews, whatever, feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And I had done this review before, but I wasn't really happy with it, so I wanted to do it again. This is a film Matthew wanted me to review called Headhunters from 2011. And it's a Norwegian film where what happens in the story is your lead guy, he is a recruiter for the surveillance company, but he's also an art thief. So he'll go into his customers homes he has a buddy who works with a security system he'll steal the art replace it with fake art and able to sell it now this guy has a wife and there's a bit of friction in the marriage because she wants to have a kid but he doesn't even though he's very successful in this recruitment process of the surveillance company i say surveillance but it's Yeah, I guess that's the best way to describe it. And he's very successful. He's still doing this art thievery. And you know, he's not the, the best guy. You know, He's not the most likable guy. But I thought the actor did a decent job. And it's one of those films that when I reviewed it. Uh, it was kind of hard for me. To talk about the film. Because it's a decent movie. It's a movie where. I wasn't really. Taken aback by. Cinematography. Camel work music except one point I, I did like the music it's not that it's bad music just I don't remember it other than this one point in the film the acting is decent grab watch it with subtitles because if you watch a dub version it could be kind of iffy more so than not but I thought it was decent because I thought the story start off slow it started off like, okay, where's this going? Is about art thief stuff, okay? Okay, then the story starts to turn a bit, and I thought it got more interesting as it went along. And there's little moments here and there, sometimes a bit darkly comedic, that make it a little bit more unique than usual. It doesn't have any BS twists, and at the end that you go, what, or... This is a decent story told competently enough with competent actors, but it's nothing that made me feel passionate one way or another. I did not dislike the film, but I didn't love the film either. And I sit here and go, why didn't I not love the film? Just something about it never grabbed me fully. It's just one of those where maybe the, just the way it looks, the cinematography, the 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 characters I wouldn't say the characters are really that interesting it's just the actors were doing a decent job and it's about a guy his wife at one point he gets another person who wants the job and this person used to be in special ops and then he becomes a guy who is hunting our lead character tracking him at one point with a hunting dog and then what this lead guy has to do with dealing with this special ops guy and if that makes you think it's going to be a lot of action, it's not. It's not that kind of movie. There's teeny bits of action, but nothing... Yeah, it's not that kind of movie. It's more of a... I guess thriller, maybe, is the best way to describe it. And the title, I thought the title meant... It was going to be a horror film, like, actually about head hunting or hunting for heads or someone that cuts people's heads off. It's not in the slightest. Head hunting is another word for recruiting hiring people for a job among other stuff and <clears throat> again I think for the first half I was kind of like eh. <clears throat> I don't know about this film <clears throat> it's not bad but it's just like meh you know I've there's nothing didn't, did not seem like anything special if that makes sense but he says the plot developed <clears throat> it got a little bit more interesting and I guess to describe that would to go a bit more into spoilers <clears throat> just certain things start happening for example 
partner in crime, <coughs> he thinks the guy's dead from poison. So then he's going to find a way to get rid of the body so that he's not blamed for this. And the guy wakes up. Okay, so he takes it back in to warm him up, dry him up. The guy then gets into a fight with our lead. And the guy tries to shoot him, but then the lead's able to get a lucky shot, boom, into the guy's head with a pretty decent, you know, squib. <coughs> or later on, when the special ops guy's tracking him, the guy has a hunting dog. The dog tries to attack our lead, but the lead grabs it, slams it into this tractor, and then impales it onto his tractor. And then he has nowhere else to go, so he takes the tractor and he escapes. So then there's a shower, he's driving down the road on this tractor, and the dog is still hanging off the hook in front of the tractor. So he's driving down at nighttime with his dog hanging in front. Uh, that's what I mean. There's, once in a while there's a bit of a darkly coming take on it. Or there's another bit where he finally finds the cops. And the cops take him in. But then this special ops guy, don't, he don't give a shit. So he hits the car. The cop car, the cop car flies like a mile away. But granted the... The lead guy at least does the smart decision to play dead. And he is, you know, decently mangled up. It's not like he had no scratches a uh, Black Widow. Where Star Johansson gets her car blown up, fly 50 feet, and no scratches. Here the cops are dead and he's decently mangled. At least the guy's smart enough to play dead and fake the guy out. And then, again, there's interesting ideas. For example, he finds out that this gel that was put on his hair is what is giving the bad guy the ability to track him. So then he has to shave his head. And I also thought it was a sweet scene where he gets back together with his wife because the lead guy was cheating on his wife with his mistress. She was cheating on him with the, the guy that's actually hunting him down. But she knew nothing about what's going on. She knew nothing about this. And so when they kind of figure out what's going on and they have a nice moment together where she's like, wait, you're stealing art thievery? Why are you doing this stupid shit? You're rich. He's like, well, yeah, I don't need more stuff. And then the lead's like, well, I figure, you know, I was afraid you'd leave me. Same with the kid. I figure, you know, if we have a kid, you love the kid more than me. And that sounds clunky, but the way it was done in the film, I thought was actually rather sweet. Maybe because it was done kind of subtle, simple, the acting was not overblown, overdrawn. The the music, I remember actually being pretty decent in that. But that was a nice little moment with this wife and husband reconnecting with each other. And then again, this is spoilers, at the end when you find out the wife does love him because she you think she goes back to the special ops guy, but it was to switch the gun with blanks. So when the guy tries to kill the lead don't work and the lead's able to kill him with this like Uzi <clears throat> and the way you know it's how it's done so that the cops don't go after them and you know it's even the narration is like uh, it's a bit too it's not as clean cut and clear as it should be but the cops just want the case to be over and like I said, the, the acting's not the problem. The lead guy and the wife character, those actors did more than competent job. It's not a... It's a thriller that wasn't as thrilling as many other thillers I've seen. It's not an action-packed movie. It's not a movie that is the, the fastest-paced film. It, it, that's what I mean. The movie isn't spectacular in any sort. It's not doing anything that is completely m remarkable it's just a movie that at best is competent it's decent if you watch the trailer well by this point i've spoiled it but if you see the trailer if you see anything and it's like hey you like i, I didn't i don't know what genre to classify it and my neighbor's rooster just feel the same way they don't know what genre to classify this as well I guess, I guess thriller is the right aspect. And that's kind of when I was reviewing the first time, I just kept stumbling and paused. I'm like, what do I really say about this film? It's not a bad film. Not a terribly made film. It's just an unspectacular film. Just, you know, okay, decent, competent. Eh, you know, not bad. I don't think I'll remember it uh, a week from now. 
but you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of this film before. I could see why watching it, but I didn't, not bad. I didn't, this best part I would say is, I like that the plot at least got a little bit more interesting as it went along. You find out why the the lead uh, bad guy is doing this and so on and so forth. So I did. I've seen much worse. I've seen much better. Uh, sorry to Matthew. It's not much of a review. Like the music, other than the one bit when the husband and wife reconnect, I can't remember any other piece of the music. Again, the direction, the camera work, there's nothing really that I guess, to be fair, like the opening, when it shows him how he does the replacement of the paintings, that's not too bad. The way it's shot when the bad guy in his bigger truck hits the cop car, at least it's not edited every five milliseconds, it's not edited to ribbons. So the way that's edited is actually not too shabby. Again, there's not really much bad I could say about the direction of scenes. The cinematography felt like there, it's it definitely doesn't have vibrant colors. I mean, I wouldn't say it's, I would say the colors maybe at times are muted. At least that's what it felt like to me. And you know, overall, you know, not a bad film. It's just okay. An all right flick. May I don't know if Matthew this is why a film he loves. If you watch this, feel free down below to say. If you love it, it's okay, but like, I'd like to hear your opinion on it, if that's the case. It's not a bad, it's just not a film that's really that memorable or remarkable. Other than when he kills the dog and he drives the trap drive the dog's hanging on there. But I mean, it didn't do any bullshit at the end. No downbeat, crappy endings uh, or cheap shot type of endings. Yeah, it's an alright film. Decent enough flick. Again, if you read the plot synopsis, you watch the trailer, if it interests you, go for it. You do a lot worse. It's just that's something that you know, I'm going to get on DVD or Blu-ray or I'm going to watch ever again. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We will see you guys later. Bye-bye.